Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I had applied to the EMJMD Fame Plus or the Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters degree in Functional Advanced Materials Engineering Plus. The Skype interview is a major part of the application to this master's program, which is going to be conducted only if you are shortlisted. In this video, I will be explaining to you all the questions that I had to face during the course of the interview. If you want to know more about the other master's degrees that I had applied to, I have made videos on that topic. The links are in the description and also here somewhere. The most important part of the interview was the major question which he asked me, the interviewer. The interviewer asked me to explain about my bachelor thesis. I started the answer by introducing the theme of the project, which was end milling optimization of Inconel A25, which is a nickel super alloy. I explained to him the work that was done during the various stages of the project. And also I explained to him my role in the project as there were uh, four members in the team. I told him that we have published a research paper for the project. If you want to read the uh, research paper or if you are from a mechanical or a materials engineering background, the link for the paper is in the description. I make videos on higher education in STEM fields. If you think that this video helps you to learn something new, give the video a like and also share some feedback with me and leave a comment. Now back to the video. The interviewer asked me to speak about X-ray diffraction. I was only able to answer in the form that I was only able to explain the basics of the Bragg's law. After that, uh, he asked me to speak about ferromagnetism and paramagnetism. This I was not able to answer at all. He also asked me to speak about functional materials. I gave this answer at length in detail. I explained the definition, the concept. I also gave two, three examples of functional materials to explain how functional materials help us in our daily lives. He also asked me the basics of material science in five, six questions, most of which I was able to answer. He also asked me the various types of bonds observed in materials. I was able to name five kinds of bonds and he was really impressed at it. So overall, what I can say was that this interview was a very mixed experience because being from a mechanical engineering background, many of the things which the interviewer wanted me to answer were unknown and alien to me because I am not from a material science background. But also at the same time, it was a very intriguing experience as I got the opportunity to have a conversation with someone from Germany and hence having a German accent. Honestly, in the first two, three minutes of the interview, I had to just recalibrate my hearing because German accent was very new to me back then. Hi, a big thank you for watching this YouTube video to the end. Give the video a like if you think that this video has helped you to learn something new. If you want to give some feedback or if you want to share something that may be helpful to the viewers, leave a comment. Share this video with anyone who you know is aspiring to pursue higher studies in Europe. The links in the description may really help them and also give a subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can watch all my upcoming videos on higher education in STEM fields in Europe.